Hi guys, my name is Marissa and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a half top knot for short hair. I want to start off by saying that I am by no means a beauty guru. I am not a cosmetologist. I'm just a regular mom who wants to look put together and wants a hairstyle that's going to be quick, easy, and stay in place all day. I have quite a bit of hair, but it's relatively thin and difficult to hold a style. So I'm going to show you some tips that I use to make sure that your hairstyle lasts all day. To create this look, you will need a backcombing brush. This is from Target. I don't know if this specific brush is still available. It's a Conair brand, but any thick bristled brush like this will be able to create the look. We'll also need a hair tie. If you have those thin, clear elastic bands, those would probably work better. I don't, so I just use a regular hair tie. I use the Sebastian brand hairspray. I typically pick this up at TJ Maxx or Marshalls because it's quite a bit less expensive there. I've heard that sometimes the quality of their products isn't the same, but I've never experienced any sort of difference from using that hairspray versus buying it from a traditional store. I also use this Dry Volume Blast from Living Proof. This is really the key product that I use to be able to create a look that's going to stay in place, last all day, and have plenty of volume. Finally, I'm just using some regular old bobby pins. To start with, I have just washed and blow dried my hair. I did take a flat iron and probably ran it through my hair maybe 10 times. I don't spend a bunch of time flat ironing my hair before I'm going to pull half of it up, but I wanted to just smooth out some of the ends. Next, we're going to take this volume blast. I'm going to shake it up and put it in the top of our hair. Work it into the roots. Next, we're going to take this brush. I take, I part my hair and just grab a small section of the very front. Then I take this back combing brush and really go to town. How's that saying go? The bigger the hair, the closer to Jesus. I take that real seriously for this look. Really get a lot of volume. I even get it into the ends of my hair. You want to make sure that your hair has a lot of texture here so that the bun isn't just stuck to the top of your head. Once we feel like we're satisfied with the amount of volume that we've got, I'm going to take this elastic band. I'm just going to grab that section of hair. I grab it backwards, so I twist my arm around, I grab the back of my hair, twist it once, and then twist it a half. So you're going to have this kind of tail in the front and this bun in the top. And then I just start pulling it through. Pulling. until you've got a pretty sizable bun on the top of your head. While I like big hair, this is a little bit too much for my style. Go back and grab our bobby pins. I typically use four bobby pins for my hair. All right, I know you're not supposed to open these with your teeth, so I'm gonna try not to do that. But with full disclosure, typically I'm using my teeth to open these bobby pins. So I just kind of twist it, grab the pieces that are sticking out. See, I said I wasn't gonna do it, but don't tell my dentist. All right.
Yeah, I just can't not use my teeth. All right. And if you've got pieces that just kind of stick out, I just reposition them and secure them with a, try to find a bobby pin in the back. All right, so see how you can see the hair tie here? We wanna kind of pull some of this extra hair and wrap it around to cover that and then secure that with a bobby pin. Just keep pulling. All right, that is what our top knot is going to look like when we're finished pinning. So next, I like to focus on, you can see how the rest of my hair is just kind of flat and hanging there. That's where I will grab more of this volume blast. I don't like it when my hair looks like it's just stuck to my head. So I am going to spray in a little bit of this. Want to work that into the roots. We'll finish the look by just spraying some hairspray all over our head. Want to make sure that you do a good job of getting the bun. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Homemaking with Marissa. Bye.